το σπίτι μας είναι δίπλα, δίπλα και προς το παρόν. Our house is just over here. It has not burned yet. But there are many fronts. And the fire department has not come yet. We were here, but we left. When we saw flames, we left. It's difficult. We burned here 10 years ago. Now we burned again. Strong winds are blowing in the region with an intensity of 6-7 on the Beaufort scale, with gusts of 8 creating swirls in the topography of the hills. Although the thick smoke and intensity of the winds are creating difficulties for the aircraft to approach safely, all forces are making every effort. We are in the heart of the fire period. The conditions that exist and will exist will be particularly difficult. There is no, there are no firefighters, there is no uh, helicopters, no planes. Uh, some, uh, some, uh, some guys try to, to rescue a house, but uh, it's impossible. The, the fire is too heavy, the wind is very, very heavy, very strong. So there is nothing that uh, they can do. Of the 239 new fires that started in the last seven days, 110 of them are currently classified as out of control. That means that they're either not being actioned or not responding to suppression. Um, and in terms of what we see ahead, um, 
some of that lightning activity that we've seen starting new fires is currently forecast to uh, stop, thankfully, in the coming days. The flip side of that is that um, as skies clear, we start to see kind of a, a warming and drying trend, which will feed the fire behavior of those existing fires that we have on the ground. Um, so we do anticipate that it'll be a very challenging remainder of July and August. And be, beyond that, it's, it's difficult to say where, where the fire season will go. Currently, we have 100, around 180 personnel from Mexico, the United States, and Australia with more folks on the way. We did put in a request with CIFC for up to 1,000 additional personnel. Um, in terms of some brass tacks, I can tell you that from Mexico, we currently have around 100 firefighters. From the United States, we have some folks doing um, pair attack and rappel, which is when you're jumping out of planes into those more remote regions. Um, we've also got um, some folks who are doing more of that incident management role visiting from Australia. Um, and as you mentioned, yeah, we are also in talks with the federal government. There's a meeting today between some of our staff and the Canadian Armed Forces to bring in some support from the military. Right now, there are 373 fires currently burning across the province of BC. Um, we have 23 wildfires that we call a wildfire of note currently burning. Those are wildfires that are that have the potential to pose a risk to public safety, communities, people, critical infrastructure, or that are highly visible, just so that we're sharing enough information that people understand what's going on with those incidents. Um, so far this year in British Columbia, we've had over 1,100 wildfires, and you can compare that to a 10-year average of 620. Um, in terms of the total hectares burned to date, we're well ahead of our historical averages because of some particularly large fires in the north. Uh, we've burned 1.29 million hectares so far this year to date. That's since the beginning of April. And we're comparing that with a 10-year average of around 100,000 for this time of year. So currently there are about 881 active fires and 10 million hectares burnt. We are seeing increased activity in Quebec and in British Columbia, in Alberta stable, but there's still some activity in the Northwest Territories as well. Well, it's currently the worst season on record for hectares burned. So those 10 million hectares burned um, are the most that we've seen since probably around 1982 since CIFC was formed. Um, so it is definitely a record season. Um, there are kind of several factors that came together to create the conditions that we're seeing on the ground now. Um, last year, the 2022 wildfire season actually started late and burned in some parts of the province well into the month of October. Um, and in some areas, we've even seen fires, we call them holdover wildfires that continued to burn underground through the winter and popped up again in the spring. We also saw a particularly dry winter and um, some prolonged drought conditions that rolled right into the spring. Uh, so when we started to see lightning starts, uh, which we tend to see in the spring, um, the conditions were really just primed for uh, those to turn into larger fires. Uh, and in more recent weeks, um, we've had about 15 consecutive days of intense convective activity, which is what's causing those 
dry lightning strikes that we're seeing start fires in remote areas.